MEK inhibitors have been of interest uh, in um, looking at a broad variety of tumors that all signal through the MAP kinase pathway, whether it's RAS uh, mutant tumors or BRAF mutant tumors. And so the interest in applying MEK inhibitors in melanomas and colon cancers, for example, has been longstanding. For thyroid cancer, uh, in the last few years, uh, a, a number of, of preclinical studies have focused on trying to apply a MEK inhibitor to, for the same biologic reasons. MEK is the downstream effector of activation of RAS or BRAF. Um, greater interest in recognizing not only might it be effective, but might allow us in combination to reduce or eliminate some of the toxicities of a BRAF inhibitor. So it's well known that with, with the available BRAF inhibitors, uh, certain side effects uh, such as squamous cell cancers are particularly common. Uh, and we now understand some of the mechanisms behind the development of those toxicities. They also help to explain how tumors bypass or get around a BRAF inhibitor uh, and, and uh, become resistant. Uh, the use of MEK inhibitors alone or in combination with BRAF inhibitors uh, uh, appears, at least in early phase one studies, to be a way to uh, prevent that bypassing mechanism and prevent some of those uh, side effects that are associated with using a BRAF inhibitor alone.